Hello and welcome to day 120 of playing for Summer for Golden in real time. The series where I play through the game one day at a time on the same day as in the game. Now today is August 8th, so let's go ahead and jump into it to see what the gang is up to today. So let's get synced up as usual and get the day started. All you can do for now is wait for the police to make their move. What should you do today? Alright, getting a phone call. Hello, it's me. Let's go to Juness today. Mm, pass. Oh. Fine. I hung up. I mean, we hung out with Lady Death yesterday. We can only take so much before needing a break. Let's go out until evening. And we're actually not gonna get that much of a break, because today we're gonna go work at the daycare. Since you have Mithra, a Persona of the Temperance Arcana, you two might get along well. I doubt that. You feel your relationship with Aerie won't deepen just yet. Take the bus to the hill overlooking town for daycare work? Let's do it. You decide to work at the daycare center. Alright, hopefully this goes a bit smoother than it has recently. You help the daycare center. Once again, the children tug at you from all directions. Your understanding has increased. You feel that your relationship is going to become closer soon. You earned 10,000 yen from your job at the daycare. I mean, was Eri there the whole time and just like brought Yuta and then just hung around? Welcome back! Alright, let's go ahead and save real fast. And then we're gonna go and do some reading to finally finish hyperspeed reading. The sofa looks nice for some reading. We'll show you do. Let's get read a book and finish hyperspeed reading. You decide to continue reading hyperspeed reading. The book explains a method for greatly enhancing your reading speed and recall when reading books. You read on, thinking that this could be effective for all kinds of books. You have finished reading hyperspeed reading. You feel as if you'll be able to read more in the same amount of time now. You will now be able to read two chapters in a book each time you sit down with it. If you have any books that you haven't read yet, try going back to them. You decide to read some more, some other time. Alright, definitely a big buff to reading moving forward. So now we can go back, knock out some of the books that we had two chapters left on. But for now, it's going to wrap up the gameplay portion today and bring us on to Shuffle Time. So let's see what fate has in store for us today with the Five of Swords card. So there's the artwork. Hopefully it means something positive for us and not that there's going to be a big battle that we have to go through. So we got to sharpen our swords. But Igor, what does that mean for us? This card indicates that you are engaging in a conflict of some nature. It can okay, also suggest a disagreement with others, which leads to hostility and tension. Despite the fact that you think you've won, you might still lose in the big picture because you have annoyed or hurt those that you have argued with, and as a result, you are on the road to isolating yourself. Perhaps at the moment, you believed that it was more important to be right rather than appreciate and understand where the other side was coming from. Right now, it's important to attempt to pick up the pieces. You still have the chance to act while the conflict is still fresh. You may feel as if everyone and everything is against you. You might also lose some friends along the way. This is why you will need to make a significant decision about your point of view. What is more important to you? Mutual progress or winning? winning? This might require you to stand up to a conflict within yourself. The card represents ambition in a way which is rather negative. Too much ambition without actual regard to the consequences or the people that you affect is never something good. Misplaced ambition such as the one depicted by this card can leave you as a dejected loser or a callous winner. In both cases, the connotation is rather negative. This card instead asks us to be more considerate of those that we surround ourselves with, to let go of ego. Okay. That was a surprisingly, like, deep, good message that, you know, definitely should keep in mind. I think it's very easy to focus on completing the, on, like, this is, it talks more about arguments with people that you care about, 
but I kind of feel like this is definitely relatable with trying to complete tasks that sometimes, especially with video games, there's a lot of times where it's like, oh, we're playing a game, I want to 100% and like, get that satisfaction of completing it. But then when I kind of take a step back and realize how many hours it's going to take to 100% that game, and then think about what do I get from 100% of it, it's kind of like satisfaction. It's, it's not worth 40 hours of my time. So just kind of making sure that what you're trying to accomplish is worthwhile and something that is a good use of your time, I think is always good to be aware of. But going back to relationships, I think it's definitely good to keep in mind that the goal is to kind of reach a compromise and be able to make a harmonious relationship rather than just winning the argument. So it can definitely be tough to be in an argument and kind of have that self-awareness to step back and try to get the best outcome rather than winning your argument. But I think a lot of things in life, it's very easy to not do it the optimal way or just like kind of fall into easy habits and or bad routines and bad habits. But if you can really overcome that, then I think it really pays off. Like, um, What's the term? Like, ex uh, exponentially over time. So I think it's, it's it can be tough, especially when you're the one having to do it when someone else isn't. But I think it's something that's very beneficial and worth doing. But that's going to go ahead and wrap it up. So that's going to be another card down and another day down. So we're already at 120. Feels like definitely quite a bit of progress into it, but still quite a bit of a ways to go. So thank you guys for sticking along and following with the journey. Feel free to subscribe if you would like to make it easier to keep up to date with it. But either way, thanks for watching. I truly appreciate it. I'll see you guys tomorrow.